Look at that. It will automatically power up and it will not stall the plane. Are you watching that? Now the question is, why did eSky give you this feature that when you push rudder, motor actually powers up? Now eSky says this is our, our proprietary protocol. You cannot bind it with any other radios. But hey, you can fly it with Radio Master, Open TX or Edge TX radio controllers. Look at that. Now I'm not touching any aileron elevator. I'm just using the rudder. Uh oh, now look at that, how close quarters. I'm gonna fly it right here in front of me. And it's basically really easy to control. So that was a nice crash there, man. Mm. But look at that. A crash on concrete is a still flying. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. Greetings. Ali Shamma here. Welcome outdoors and welcome to a complete review of all new eSky Mini EAS 2 the trainer FPV plane for beginners. Now, I believe this is also going to be available in FPV version because right here you have a place for your FPV cameras. And of course, you can always turn it into FPV all by yourself if you get a simple version, non-FPV version that I have right here. Now, before we fly it, you know the drill. Go ahead, subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell icon and turn on all the notifications because that is most important and you can get all the notifications for the new upcoming uploads. Now, let me show you how easy it was to put together. Then, a closer look, talk about its features. I will show you how you can fly it with the eSky proprietary radio. And after that, I will also show you how to bind and fly it with Radio Master Edge TX radio control so stay on my channel people let's get to work right away Alright, you see how easy it was to assemble. I believe you can easily carry it even in a backpack like one of these because you can remove the wing, the tail, you know, a horizontal stabilizer or elevator and the uh, landing gear and tuck it in a backpack and carry it. But anyway, let's take a closer look at this airplane. Man, what a sweet, nice little plane. I like the size this time, as you can see. This is a perfect size to carry around and fly anywhere. So this is not just, a, you know, a flyer that you fly at RC field, but also a park flyer. Now, starting from the nose, as you can see, I have shown you already, you can remove this little thingy on the front, it's cap, and you can install your FPV cameras right here. And of course, your uh, video transmitter will go somewhere up here. It's a nice and simple design, up wing, a pusher configuration, a T tail at the back, just like the old school Skywalkers. And you can taxi it, wheels are big enough to take off from the grass, not the tall grass though, and you have a dragger wheel as well. Now the whole vertical stabilizer actually moves you know, there's no uh, little bit of uh, elevator back there. This the whole vertical stabilizer will move and the servo connection is coming right from here. It is mounted with two clevises from under on this rudder area or vertical tail fin. Now you might be able to put your video transmitters here if you are flying FPV to keep them cool and a camera in the front. Now, when you open the hatch, you have your battery compartment where you will put a 2S 7.4 volt, 650 milliamp battery to fly it. You can fly it, I believe, from uh, using up to 1000 milliamp and easily balance the CG. eSky has a proprietary uh, flight controller with the receiver built in right there inside. And they said this is an eSky protocol. You can bind it only with the eSky Mini 6X radio control 
and fly. So when you bought an eSky 150EC, the mini U micro Eurocopter, you should have this radio and you can bind this to this airplane and fly it without any issues. I will show you the bind process very, very soon. Now eSky says this is our, our proprietary protocol. You cannot bind it with any other radios, but hey, you can fly it with Radio Master, Open TX or Edge TX radio controllers as far as you have the four in one module in those. I will show you in another video very, very soon how to fly this with this. So stay tuned for that now. All right, moving on, you have a pusher motor, which I believe is 4,000 something KV, 1604, I believe, running a three blade propeller. And you do have two servos down here for your elevator and a rudder control. So it's very, very easy to configure and center those if they are not already centered. You can easily loosen these screws and adjust these rods to center or level your control surfaces. For the aileron on the wing, they are running a central servo with those levers on left and right side. And again, you have this screw as you can see. So it is very easy to adjust and center your ailerons on this RC airplane. You might need it, but mine actually came very, very set. Everything was just fine. Everything just worked when I bind it to Mini X radio. So let's just fly it. So I'm adding the battery here. After installing it here, you will put your hands on this central rod, okay? Uh, I mean your fingers on the central rod and that is your CG that is your CG as you can see you know it is always a good thing to fly first time your model slightly nose heavy okay so in order to bind this what you need to do is power on the plane and wait for two LEDs blue and green blinking okay and it twitches and now you will hold the rudder trim okay i believe you can see the radio hold the rudder trim to the right and press the on button and there you go it actually binds and now you can turn the radio on okay and wait for it to center all the surfaces automatically check right aileron left aileron up and down moving very slow left and right is nice right on the rudder we are good to go and it's a stabilizing as well high low mode also are pretty stabilized okay all right here we go bismillahirrahmanirrahim let's first see how it taxis oh so when you press the rudder i mean you move the rudder motor also powers up so turning means I'm in taxiing and turning means the plane will actually power up on the rudder okay so here we go again I'm gonna just take off in that direction Bismillahirrahmanirrahim okay it's a slow flyer Well, I believe I can still trim it up. This is my very first flight on this, but is it still, I can see, honestly, it's oscillating. You have to control. I'm still in low mode at the moment. However, it's pretty stable. Let me land it and check uh, the elevator because as soon as I leave the elevator channel, it just nose dives. Smooth landing. Okay, so I have just set the elevator slightly up. It was easy using the, uh, you know, screw on the bottom of the uh, plane. I have shown you those two servos. So on elevator servos, I loosen the rod and push it a little bit up, push the elevator a little bit up. And now let's fly it and see how it goes. Now for the turning, I also find that, as I mentioned, 
when you use rudder motor powers up and it's difficult to turn because plane is powering up so you have throttle hold switch you can always just like this throttle hold and you know turn it on again and you can easily turn your plane I won't go like that way full throttle making a long turn on the rudder now the question is why did eSky give you this feature that when you push rudder motor actually powers up it's because when you are turning these planes in the sky not on the ground in the sky after taking off when you're turning these planes and especially you're using rudder and you don't give enough throttle they are very easy to stall that's where they will stall go in a spiral and crash and that is the reason eSky programmed it in their flight controller that when you turn the rudder look at that look at that it will automatically power up and it will not stall the plane are you watching that okay now you see the plane is circling around with I'm just holding the rudder either left or right okay so the plane will actually not stall when you just turn it with the rudder look at that now I'm not touching any aileron elevator I'm just using the rudder on the ground here I touched a bit of the elevator but overall as you can see using the rudder only you can actually fly the plane because it automatically powers up the motor so using rudder powering up motor it will prevent it from stalling making nice and natural turns automatically seems like aileron elevator all mixing up when you do rudder turns so this is a feature eSky has programmed for beginners so beginners are not gonna crash this plane now look at that how close quarters I'm gonna fly it right here in front of me and it's basically really easy to control Whew, that was right above my head sorry but overall as you can see it's agile very easy to fly very easy to control and beginner might not crash it so easily so flying it is really a joy now I'm gonna switch to <laughs> hold on let me bring it away from the drink I'm gonna switch to high mode by the way after setting the elevator it's also flying pretty straight and not doing that dolphin movement you know dolphin oscillating movement okay high low oh, sorry high boat now and oh oh whoa 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 okay now it seems like it is stabilizing itself still but the surfaces just stay at the point where you leave your stick to so you have to constantly control with these mm -hmm. sticks and keep the throttle higher uh-oh uh oh that was a crash it just went straight and didn't have power to flip I mean you know flip back so couldn't loop crash let's see how crash resistant it is battery is out propeller is still okay the nose cap is out that is for the FPV camera all right so that was it nice so that was actually a pretty nice bang as you can see on the nose so no damage at all I have some uh, just some scratch on the canopy and here we go again so that was a nice crash there man but look at that a crash on concrete is a still flying so it will do aerobatics in you know high mode but you got to be at higher altitude 
in order to do in order to do those aerobatics so I will go slightly higher and oh no 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 okay when you try to do loop it actually pitches the nose up and then flight controller kicks in and stabilizes it and prevents it from doing loops now i believe i watched the ea sky video where they did like uh, inverted flight mm -hmm. but i'm not able to actually do it at the moment right here it's hard to control if you're at the higher altitude you may be able to control it and fly it but if you are closer to the ground, as you have seen, I crashed it one time. So, E-Sky, uh, when you want people to do aerobatics, you want to give them a mode where they can do aerobatics, please make sure the flight controller does not try to control or stabilize the plane at all. Okay? Unless you really want to program something very intelligent AI. So... So now I would say in beginner mode, it's a joy to fly. With that rudder powering up the motor, it's very easy to control. It's agile, it's responsive. And again, a joy to fly, very easy to fly RC airplane. And if you install an FPV camera, I bet you can have much more fun with it flying FPV on it I don't know if eSky plans to release an uh, FPV system built-in version FPV version but they should I believe it will be more fun flying with FPV so here we come for a nice landing it does not stall that's a nice thing very easy to fly, does not stall and give people a lot of time to correct and fly. All right, people, I hope you enjoyed this video. I believe I have covered everything about this eSky Mini ES2. Still, if I have left out something, please leave a comment and let me know what else you would like to watch about this airplane. Now, to quickly recap its features, it has a stabilized mode that offers a very stable flight. It's still very responsive but very easy to fly so beginners can easily fly this and have fun flying this aircraft what's more you can also put an fpv system on it and enjoy flying fpv in high or uh, aerobatic mode it allows you to do some aerobatics but be very careful do those at higher altitude because flight controller is still kicking in trying to control loops are very difficult rolls and flying inverted maybe you will get lucky with that but do it at your own risk at higher altitude at open places in basic or beginner mode it is absolutely mm, an easy to fly beginner friendly rc trainer aircraft beginners can learn to fly airplanes without issues and what's more and we also find it's pretty durable crash resistant too you won't be able to break it easily and hey it's a foam Tape and glue will do the job. Plenty of flight time on a single battery. I still didn't change the battery. I can still fly it. So what's next? You know what's coming next on my channel. So subscribe and stay updated by hitting that little bell icon and turning on all the notifications because in the next video, I'm going to show you how to bind your eSky Mini AS2 and fly with Radio Master Boxer Edge TX Radio. Stay tuned and have fun. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on, don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work. That I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there.